UK. What are the main issues facing Gloucester? Gloucester has had unprecedented investment in the last decade. Some of that I am responsible for, I've had a very big hand in. We've got a, a massive redevelopment in the Gloucester Docks, £35 million new college, I did a deal for that, and we got the um, new retail centre off the back of that too. We've got a new hospital with £30 million of development on the way, a new police headquarters too, but it's not just enough whether it's the Southwest Bypass or the new university status that we have, all of these things, it's not enough just to get investment in the institutions. We now have to go further and give people rights so they know that all the extra PCSOs that we created, the extra officers on the street, the local community beat teams, are going to deliver for them, that they will spend 80% of their time on the street. That's going to be tough, but we have to make it happen. All the investment that's gone into the health service, well, we've got now got to make sure that everybody has their operation within 18 weeks of referral. I looked at some stats the other day and found that um, in 1997, there were 22,000 people in this region alone that were waiting more than six months for an operation. Some of them died waiting for an operation. That figure is now zero, but we need to go further. And that will mean for issues like cancer, which affect every household in the country, whether it's a neighbour, a friend or a relative, we need to make concrete commitments that you will have a diagnostic test within a week, that if you're referred by your GP, you see a specialist within a fortnight. So as well as the massive investment which we've had in Gloucester, which we needed because we went without under the Tories for so long, we now also have to give people who live here rights as well.